My name is Tom Leonard and I live in Danvers, but I work all over the North Shore. I have a real passion for helping out in those communities that I live in, and this is my Spalding story today. A strep infection had set in and my leg was probably diseased and they needed to make a decision within two hours whether they would take my leg or lose me. So they took my leg at that point and had a small stroke at the same time as my left leg was taken off and the, the stroke affected my left side and they thought that I would not be a candidate for prosthesis. I am a can-do person and I must be involved in the community and I must be active, I must be a player. And I knew that in order to do that, I had to get back on my own two feet and start working forward again. They knew exactly what I was trying to get accomplished. I wasn't shy to tell them what my goals were and what I wanted, that I was gonna walk again, that I was gonna play golf again. And so all of those things would come into play as they would work with me daily to make certain that my goals were achieved. When they actually fitted me for the first prosthesis, I was not strong enough to stand up on the parallel bars for them to even cast me for the prosthesis. A wonderful lady named Lori Arnold, when she introduced herself to me, she said, you've joined Lori's boot camp, so just so that you can understand what you're getting into, I'm gonna work you hard. But if you work hard, you will be very successful. One day we were up in the gym and she said, go walk, and I walked. And I walked across the, the, the room and that was an amazing experience for me and it gave me such a lift when I realized that walking was gonna be possible. I was gonna be able to get from place to place. I, I know it wouldn't be the way it was before I lost my leg, but I knew it was going to be acceptable to me. Walking out of the door at that hospital was marvelous because they came in on a gurney like a sack of potatoes on, on the gurney and I walked out, which is very, very important. Do it both hands like that, like you're doing a medicine ball. Push. That's it. I'm going through therapy now at, as an outpatient at Spalding and I'm participating in some adaptive sports programs. I'm going to do a golf program down at uh, Spalding on the Cape in September. But right now I'm doing a hand cycling program in the Salem facility and that was exhilarating the day I was able to get out on that bicycle and start to move myself along a bike path, which was a little bit of freedom. And that's something that Spalding has allowed me to do, is to each step along the way, there was a sense of freedom that I was getting a little bit further down the road towards being where I was before I lost the light. I strongly believe that Spalding is a wonderful resource when you go there. They care for you, they devise a program that works specifically for you, and they'll work closely with you every day to make sure that you have some success. They've got a, a slogan about finding your strength. Well, I found my strength at Spalding, and I enhanced it through their efforts, and now I'm achieving everything that I had hoped I would achieve.